Hi everybody, Steph here and what we've got today is another absolutely gorgeous pen. What we have is a Parker Televisor um, fountain pen, it's a button filler which we'll show you in a moment. Um, the This particular model is what they term as the Mark 1, they then brought out another version which was the Mark 2 obviously. It comes in this absolutely gorgeous, what they term as a, um, a striated pearl pattern, although I like to call it well, I call it a hatch pattern. They brought them out in four different colours, a standard black colour, um, this striated pearl, burgundy, and as I say, this, this beautiful green colour. The size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, 130mm capped, around the barrel here, approximately 11.8mm um, in diameter. To the bottom, to the bottom of the barrel there, you can see it's got this rounded um, blind cap in black, which we'll show you a little bit more later on. And then to the top, we've got this um, sort of matching rounded black button to the top. You can see to the bottom of the cap there, we've got three um, thin gold filled cap bands to the bottom. And then if we show you the the nib, sorry not the nib, the, the clip to the top there, you can see it's got the older version of the Parker ball clip and you can see to the middle there it's got the word Parker in this quite elongated um, triangle if you like or diamond shape. Um, again the Mark II, the the clips were slightly different, they actually introduced a different clip but this as I say is the Mark 1 and it's what they term as this ball clip. As we said we've got this uh, rounded stud to the top there. Now if we unscrew the cap to the top there, let's show you the pen, let's give you a couple of little twirls an absolutely beautiful example. It's actually come to me for a service. It had a couple of little issues which we've sorted. We've disassembled it. We've put a new sack in it. Um, we've put a new breather tube in it. Um, we've heat set the the feed underneath there because it it was uh, there was quite a big gap between the feed and the nib. Uh, but all in all, it is now in absolutely stunning, stunning condition. Um, one thing, well, let's show you the the feed to the top there. You can see it's got this quite a small sort of concaved feed to the top there. And one of the things that Parker actually did with these particular pens is introduced this, what they term as a visible ink view window, if you like. Now, if we give you, let's shine the torch to the back there. And you can see there it's got this sort of, well, as it says, this ink view window to the bottom of the section. You can also see in the middle there we've got the the feeder tube in the middle there. Again in the Mark II version the ink view window was slightly different but we're just going to concentrate on this particular pen today. Let's show you the nib. Again the nib's been cleaned and set and it's got the correct nib to this particular pen. The nib actually reads Parker fountain pen, underneath that it's got 14 carats and then below that it's got Canada. So this particular pen is a Canadian made um, Parker televisor, there's a sideways view and let's show you the feed underneath there. You can see the feed is this, it's got the fins to the side there. Again it's been cleaned in absolutely beautiful condition. Um, one thing I'm not actually showing you, which I think might be a bit difficult to show you, if I can find it over the camera. Um, the only sort of downfall with this particular pen um, is actually the, if I can find it, is actually the imprint to the pen, which again I'm finding it difficult to, um, to find over the camera. But what I'm going to do is just keep it nice and still, give it a twirl. But it is visible, but a little bit on the one side. And what it actually says is Parker Televisor. To the, to the left of it, it has Made in Canada. And to the right, it has registered TMS for, for trademark. Okay. I doubt you can actually see it. As I say, it's a little bit on the one side, although it's still, 
it's still quite visible. So let's pop back to the pen itself. As we said earlier, this is actually a button filler, which means what we can do is simply undo the blind cap to the bottom of the pen there. And you can see what we've got here is this lovely brass button to the to the end of the to the end of the barrel. Now as with all pens, it's just been served, it's not even been tested, so it's as good time as any to test the pen. And what we do with this particular pen, we dip the nib in the ink and we press down um, a few a few times on this particular this particular button here. And you can actually feel um, the, the bar inside bending against the sack inside. So let's do that. Okay, and I'm hoping you could actually hear that. There was lots and lots of bubbling, which means, or, well, which sounds that everything seems to be fine. Let's pop back the, the blind cap like so. Let's bring on a piece of paper and let's, uh, let's see how the pen actually writes. So, what we have here is an absolutely beautiful Parker, as we said, this particular one is the Tele Visor Fountain Pen. Again, the, the date of this pen is from 1935 right through to around about 1940s. This particular pen is writing very, very nice, it's quite smooth. And there's a little bit of flexibility to the nib as well. So if we press down on the downward stroke, you can see we're getting quite a broad line. So let's show you that. So you can see it's got a little bit of flexibility to the nib. On the downward stroke, we're getting a slightly broader line. So a lovely nib to write with. So let's pop that to one side. So there we have it. An absolutely stunning example of the Parker Televisor fountain pen. Um, it's a button filler made in Canada around about 1935, 1940s. And as we said before, this particular one is the Mark I, um, which we can tell by the clip and by these ends here. The Mark II, which is brought out later, um, I believe the ends were actually flat and as we said earlier the clip actually is slightly different. So I hope you enjoy enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you and Stuart I hope you're happy with your new pen which I'm sure you will be and have many many years of enjoyment with it. But don't be shy, loads more uh, videos on my channel, go and have a look, leave a comment but for now I'll just say Bye-bye now.